Thank you very much, everyone. So the workshop that, uh, that we did was about collaboration and uh, looking at groups we might think of as opposites, like uh, these two folks here on the slide. Uh, we talked about clients and designers, but really that was kind of a proxy for any type of collaborative relationship where there are maybe different roles but, uh, but common goals, as we talked about uh, in the group. So one thing that happened was I used a technique that we use in user research in, in my work uh, called role-playing, where we ask people to get up and take on characters and play a game. Uh, that was a little learning for me about cultural differences. Perhaps that wasn't the most favorite type of activity for the participants. I only have two minutes left, so I'm not going to ask anybody to come up here and do a role-playing with me. Uh, but the people that did come up, I think, did really, really interesting uh, with the games. We took on characters of what we thought might be a good client and a, and a great designer, and then the opposite, a, uh, you know, an arrogant designer and a great client. And we went through scenes and explored what happened when those people tried to interact about a project. It was an imaginary project, but then we kind of extracted what were the rules, what made those things succeed, what were some of the best practices. So we talked about um, the power of saying yes. Even if you decide to then persuade the person to come across to your idea, starting off with the word yes was a good collaborative tactic that people were using in these games. Uh, but we also discovered kind of the danger of saying yes too often and taking on a collaborative role, which was not collaborative, it was just um, doing what you had to do because they told you. And this raised some issues in some of our discussions about you know, our roles to kind of lead and educate. And I offered some points from my experience, kind of some coaching and advice on what I think we can do to be better collaborators. And one of those is, is about having empathy and sympathy, trying to understand the contexts that other people work in. Um, and when you see how hard it is to do something, maybe someone works in a corporation and it's very difficult for them to move files. They can't access Facebook. They can't access Google Docs. Uh, and it's frustrating for us and we feel like that's not what we want to be doing. Let's, let's have empathy for people that are in those situations that are kind of working against their corporate strictures and trying to innovate within those and trying to find common ground around that empathy. Uh, we did another role play at the very end where now we try to be good clients and good designers and try to model what's the successful behavior, what are some of those principles that came out of that. There was a lot. The one that I really uh, took away that uh, someone uh, articulated in the group was that um, when you bring passion to your work, it's, it's very infectious and it's a way to start transforming the work into play and that that kind of creates a, a shared experience and a shared positive attitude that leads to a very uh, positive collaborative outcome. I'll be putting the slides up on SlideShare under my name, Steve Portugal, uh, if you want to look for them in the next couple of days. Thanks so much for the opportunity.